So it's spring break this week, so I think some of the kids are either out of town or sleeping it off, or, but I'm glad you guys came to join me so I wouldn't be lonely up here. Okay, so today we're going to talk about, this is your second week of spring break? Have you been having fun? Yeah? Get to sleep in a little? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about uh, another psalm. Do you remember psalms are, are like songs that people wrote to God, about God? They're the words um, to a psalm. And so today we're going to talk about Psalm 130. And I'm just going to read yeah. the first, like, four verses. It says, From a sea of troubles I call out to you, Lord. Won't you please listen as I beg for mercy? If you kept record of our sins, no one could last long. But you forgive us, and so we will worship you. You know, the Bible says that everyone has sinned. So even the big people have sinned, right? So if we think about sins that, I was trying to think of sins that maybe everyone has committed, you know, like even as a child, maybe we've lied or maybe we cheated at a game. Mike's never done that. Uh, sometimes maybe we have a bad attitude towards our parents or, we, or they say, did you clean your room? And you say, yeah, I did. And really you just pushed everything under the bed, right? It wasn't quite cleaning up. Um, but the Bible says we've all sinned, right? But it also says, you know, we're getting ready to celebrate Easter, and we don't celebrate that Jesus died. We celebrate, well, he died for our sins, but also that he rose again, so that we can be forgiven for our sins. So <clears throat> when we sin, and this, this verse talks about, have mercy on me, God, I cry out to you. When we know we've done something wrong, we don't have to feel bad about it forever and feel like God doesn't love us. All we have to do is say, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the mistake I did and will you forgive me? So I was thinking about, you like my pretty pencil? I couldn't find the sharpener, I was going to sharpen it. But you know when you're writing something or maybe you're drawing with a pencil and you make a mistake, what can you do to fix it? Eraser. Right? You use that, this has a pretty purple eraser. But if I make a lot of mistakes, it turns out like this pencil which has almost no eraser, right? That's not going to erase very much longer. And then I have this cool thing. It says, what does that say, Audrey? For big mistakes. For big, big mistakes. Money. My big eraser, right? But if I keep using this eraser, eventually it'll, we'll use it all up too, right? It'll be all gone. Well, when we ask God to forgive us, it's not quite like an eraser. It's even better, right? God forgives us, and those sins are gone forever. And like an eraser runs out, God's forgiveness never runs out. It goes forever and ever. So if we mess up today and I say, God, I'm sorry, will you forgive me? He will. And in a week from now, I, maybe I just have a bad attitude. I do something else wrong. If I'm really sorry and I say, God, I'm sorry, I don't want to do that again, he'll forgive me. His forgiveness never ends. And that's so cool, right? That's better than an eraser. Even the biggest eraser you can find, so much better. Because Jesus died on the cross for our sins. He rose again so we could be forgiven and live in heaven forever. That's pretty cool, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you that you hear us when we cry to you in our in our guilt and our shame and when we know that we've hurt you we thank you that you forgive us help us to forgive others as, you for, as you've forgiven us and help us to remember this easter that we rejoice that you rose again that you died for our sins help us to share that with people who don't know that as well we love you lord in jesus name amen